we need to make that our theme song. How that's fun is amazing. that? amazing. <laughs> Welcome back. That sound can only mean one thing, Hawaii Five-0, starring <laughs> Jack Lord. Yes, yeah, hard not to dance along as we hear it, but there is a new biography out about Lord, and it's written by a local author, Sylvia Lynch, who is on our show today, joining us to talk more about the book. We were talking about how this project originated. Um, you were an avid fan. Absolutely. Yeah, I remember that the, I saw the pilot episode. I was just going into my freshman year of high school, and from the day one, I was hooked. I mean, Hawaii is about as far from East Tennessee as you can get, and it was the landscapes, and just it was just an exciting new concept. And I loved the show and, and watched all 12 seasons. It, it was the longest running police show in history until Law and Order. Wow. So, so it was very, very successful and it was kind of Lord's baby. He was, he had complete oversight, um, just an interesting guy. Yeah, I mean, you look like that, you gotta be interesting. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, the hair was the thing, you know. And all right, like so, yeah. they, so they came out with the new Hawaii Five-0, yes. and it sparked all this new interest the reboot, in this, yeah, which was great for you. And now you're the 50th anniversary yeah. is coming up, and you got this new book the out. The timing was was uh, good, perfect. Yeah. <laughs> um, what's in that book that people won't know about? Well, I was fortunate to find Lord's papers. He had donated them to the University of Southern California Cinematic Arts Library, and they had been un unutilized. They were just in boxes, and I found out he just carried them there and donated them after he retired. And uh, I just there were 200 boxes, but a lot of it was scripts and, and notes from the show. But he had letters. Um, he would have, you know, I'd find a card from a five-year-old girl who was in love with him, and <laughs> and uh, it was just amazing. A letter from Lawrence Olivier, I remember Ronald Reagan wrote him a lot of letters, and wow. all of his letters are just stacked in boxes. So it was fun. It was like a treasure hunt. I had a great time going through his papers. Yeah, the first person to be able to do that. Yes. And you include some of the, the photos, some of that memorabilia yes. in the book. Yes, I was able to, to use a lot of the, the photos and things that I found. It was just incredible. That's kind of neat. You work at Lincoln Memorial yeah. <laughs> University, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, where can folks get the book? Well, it's available on Amazon.com, and if your local bookstore doesn't have it, ask for it. It's published by McFarland and Company, so it's it's out there. It's been a lot of fun. Biggest surprise about him? Um, I think it was a, an affirmation of he was a lot like I thought he was, but I did I did find out that he had 90 roles. He was in the first James Bond, James Bond movie. He did e virtually every Western on TV. Gunsmoke, you know, um, Have Gun Will Travel. He was on almost every Western on TV, so 90 some roles. He's just so much more than Steve McGarrett, and that was interesting to me. On Broadway, had some experience on Broadway, uh -huh. so he's very versatile. Uh, a tough guy to work for, from what I understand. He was uh, very much in charge of his business, and he ran it like a business, and he was, uh, he was a pretty tough taskmaster with the people that he worked with on his show. Awesome. Well, what a great way to celebrate this 50th anniversary yeah. of the show. We appreciate you spending time with us. Well, and you said it's you. available on Amazon. It is. Okay. Uh -huh. Wonderful. Well, good seeing you. Well, thank you. Congratulations. Thank you for having me.